What's going on, family? Peace, love, and happiness. Scott Vlad, welcome to the channel. I'm sending you all positive energy. So take it all, embrace it all, embody it all, and uh, create your own reality, you know? How you doing? How are you doing mentally? How's your mental health? Okay, I care about you. But how you doing? Come on, seriously, you know? I've been at those times where you don't see... <laughs> the future um you don't like know what's coming in your life and you just feel so like shitty in your mental health right because everybody's always like yeah, it's about your physical health or you gotta grind 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 and don't worry about how you're feeling internally mentally emotionally psychologically whoa okay so like, i'm just gonna share some some things that maybe maybe they can help you get get forward and keep moving getting that momentum and uh to keep your head up, you know, because it's always going to get, it's always going to change at least, right? It may not get better in the moment, but if you have that, like, hope, that faith, that knowing that things are going to get better, right? It doesn't just fucking end. That's what I used to say when I was bankrupt. <laughs> I was like, it's, it doesn't just end, you know? It's like, I'm not just going to die because I'm sad or broke or depressed, you know? It's like, it doesn't just end. It keeps going. It's going to, the world's going to go on with, with or without you. But you can keep going, you know what I mean, right? And like for me, I was depressed for years, longer than I was on prescription medication for, okay? But I'm doing so much better now, right? I'm in a better mental state. My environment is more, more sustainable, peaceful, but ultimately comes down to my internal, right? It's not going to be peaceful on the external if I'm not at peace with everything in my life or a lot in my life, right? We've made peace with the past, peace with the present, peace with the future. You kind of feel me, right? And what's really helped me is meditation, right? Or like mindfulness, some type of mindfulness practice and self-awareness, being aware of feelings in my bodies, emotions that I'm feeling and why I'm feeling these certain emotions, right? And when things come up, Try to be as present as you can with why you're feeling these certain ways. Like if you're depressed, okay, or sad or angry, in that moment, be like, okay, take a deep breath. Get some oxygen going through your blood to your brain because it, it, it calms you down more, right? Let's agree. Breathing breathing is good for us, okay? Um, and when it comes to like mindfulness, it's just focusing on one thing. Or if you're meditating, focusing on one thing at that moment, whether it be your breath, your body, your third eye, or whatever you're you're focusing on, okay? And that helps with like awareness, right? Keeps your mind on a single thing. So then if you're like in a stressful situation, you're anxious, you're not thinking of like a million different things. You may think of a certain amount, but then you can always come back to your breath. You can take a deep breath, you know? And if you're in those kind of states, right? Like a, a sad state, you want to, like, it's weird for me. Like, it was like, I want to be alone, but I also wanted to be with people. But certain people like my mom or my dad or my sister, they don't get me on a deeper level as much, right? It's like, they know emotions and feelings, but they're more caught up in like the work. And then what am I going to do after work? Come home, watch TV, that kind of thing, right? And if I want to talk emotions or get deep, it's not as like connected, you know? I mean, as much as I came from my mom, <laughs> it's not as like uh, potent or truthful, I guess you could say, or, or open, right? And it gets tough sometimes when you don't have many people to talk to. And even friends, like obviously I keep a small friend group, but I want to be able to have those friends be open with me. I don't be able to tell them my life and them tell me their life and we can have like an emotional connection, not just a, oh, hey, let's smoke weed or, oh, hey, let's do this together. I want to be able to talk to you, right? I want to be able to get deeper within our uh, emotions so we can connect on that deeper level, right? Same with when it's like love. I don't want no like lustful relationship, right? I want that deep connection before you even have sex or make love at that point, right? Yeah, you, you kind of feel me, okay? And, um, what is good, though, it's good to be alone, like vibe alone. It doesn't mean you have to be fucking alone every single day or 
not seeing people, like avoiding people, right? It's good to have that isolation, though. And that's what it was for me a lot of the winter, right? Even all of last year after I, like, awakened to a, a different degree of awareness. I like that. Um, I started going within. I started meditating, getting out into nature, ecotherapy. And the point of, like, also deep breathing or breathing proper in nature is because, well, my interpretation, the trees are the life that provides us with oxygen, right? So if you're closer to trees, you're surrounded by more trees, I would think and assume that the oxygen is coming off those trees more, you're surrounded by it, right? Because if you're in your house, yes, you can breathe. If you're outside, you can breathe. But if you're surrounded by trees and nature, then you can breathe better, right? Or if you go like out of the city more into like but ass naked forest i don't know i said like the middle of nowhere right there's no like smog from the cars the exhaust the city the fumes factories and shit even chemtrails they probably don't spray chemtrails super far out in the middle of nowhere because nobody's there so they don't have anybody to poison or (laughs) you feel me and uh it's that's why it's like it's more pure air in those places because it's cleaner air right and you can breathe better. And it's always good to be aware of your breath and breathe from the base of your spine all the way up into your lungs and into the ethers. And uh, then bring yourself down, ground yourself, you know, and keep going. But if you get in like a stagnated phase, that's fine. I was there where you just like watch fucking Netflix all day or you eat a lot. Don't get down on yourself because that just lowers your mood even more. If you're like, oh, shit, I'm feeling depressed. But all I did was watch TV all day or Netflix. And I ate and I'm going to get fat. You know, that doesn't help. Support yourself. Tell yourself what you think somebody that cares about you would tell you. Like, no, it's okay. I'm here for you. I'm holding space for you. Here's a big hug. Give yourself a big hug. You know, hug yourself. Love yourself. And I know it's easy to say this shit. It's hard, though. It can be hard. It can be difficult. But you got to keep going, you know, and trying your best to move, do something, fitness, like run or whatever kind of fitness you like doing, right? And whatever kind of spiritual tools like meditation you think would be good or if you like reading, do something that you know you like and you have a passion in, right? And then if you don't anymore, try different things. And I know when you're depressed, it's like you think there's never going to be. It's never going to end. And then you're like, oh, I got to go on prescription pills. I, I wouldn't recommend that unless you absolutely think you're, you're like suicidal, see a uh, professional, right? Or talk to people, talk to somebody and get medication if that's what you think is right. Okay. But with my experience, medication, this shit all, it just numbs and it suppresses and hides the feelings that you need to get out you need to express and it's good to express yourself whether it be through video through just making like a video journal through writing and journaling down through talking to some friends that actually give a shit about you right (laughs) and like listen up music that's uplifting because i know i used to listen like little peep juice world when i was like partying and smoking and depressed in my buddy's basement and that doesn't that doesn't help it just feeds that negative feelings right and then brings you lower, even though you might think it's it's like, no, it's helping me. No, I'm fucking depressed as shit, and this is just making it worse. But I, I had to go through those, right? I had to go to that experience to realize that's not how I want to feel, you know? I got to keep going. And you can keep going, okay? You know, like, there's someone that cares about you. And if you don't think there is, there will be. You're, you're you. You're a good person. You will attract in your life who really deserves to be with you, you know, and you can be a good person, but I do recommend like trying something new, being spontaneous, adding something into your life that can spice it up a little bit. You feel me? You got to spice your life up a little bit. Dance, sing, be present while you're doing these things and just work on growing, but work on one thing at a time. If you're depressed because like, you're not doing anything 
right? Do one thing. Don't be hard on yourself. Like, be patient. Yes, we only have this one, like, life, I guess, right? Unless you're, like, a reincarnated whatever. But you only are aware of this one life, okay? And yes, it, it can be short, I guess, right? <laughs> but if you're present with everything and you're not in a rush, you're, you have patience, but you are aware that you can die at any point, <laughs> then live. Do you, the best you can to live a meaningful, fulfilling, purposeful, passionate life full of peace, love, and happiness. You feel me? Because I feel you, you know? I was depressed for years, like even in high school, I was on like pills for something else, like ticks and twitches and Tourette's, whatever, right? Because they always want to diagnose you with something and, uh, but not for like antidepressants or whatever, right? But in high school, I felt alone. I felt isolated. Even though I was with friends, there was always something that would trigger my internal depression. And I'd be like, like my friends would be like, are you depressed? I'm like, no. But then my head, I'd repeat something like, yeah, you're fucking depressed, you loser. It's like, yeah, this girl doesn't like you. These friends don't really care about your certain things. And I'd confirm that by saying that to myself. I'd beat myself up, beat myself up. And then that eventually leads to like more depression, right? And then when I was after high school, I started taking antidepressants for like three, four years. And those didn't work either, of course. As well as like self-medicating with alcohol and weed and cigarettes. It doesn't work either. You feel me? But you always got to keep going, you know? Do your best, the best you can to keep moving forward in any aspect, right? And if you don't, like, physical health is one thing. If you have a nice fucking body, I think I have a nice body. I like it. <laughs> um, that's, that doesn't mean anything if you don't have, like, a good mind, a good mental health, a mental well-being. You have to be at peace internal, internally, and, like, at least have some stability. Be emotionally stable, emotionally available, so you can give people your all, right? You can be open and vulnerable. And you have to have that kind of alignment, right? The body, mind, spirit, or body, mind, soul kind of connection, right? So th th that's where like the spirit comes in when you do certain mindfulness things, right? Or nature, that kind of thing. The body is your physical, okay? So you got to be eating good shit. If you're eating like shit, is you're going to feel like shit. If you're eating healthy life bringing foods then you're gonna feel more life in you even like you peanut butter it's not like it's like <laughs> the, the for example peanut butter is good right if you eat a lot of it it's a lot of calories but if you need that it's it's healthy you know i mean if you, if you overdo it eat the whole jar in a day yeah but like eating foods that you like that are tasty but healthy at the same time be mindful of what you're putting in your body and then the mind like body mind spirit right the mind is mental emotional psychological you want to make sure you're in that good headspace but it's also like your external kind of can help that like i have like affirmations on the wall or uh imagery symbols decluttered house like there's it's not too messy or cluttered because if everything's messy or cluttered especially in your bedroom when you wake up even when you're sleeping with your subconscious you're taking in this this clutter this mess your mind's going to be full but if you have a mindful room, then you'll wake up with more peace of mind and not as like cluttered in your head. You feel me? Because then when you, that's how it starts, right? When you wake up, if you have like a, a cluttered mind, you're thinking you're up all night, you're waking up, getting in your feelings, and you just lie in bed, then you're kind of starting the day off not as good as you could. But don't get down on yourself if you do that, right? I was there. If you sleep in, don't fucking stress too much if you have like commitments maybe you have to get up on time for those right but if you don't and you need to sleep 12 hours sleep if you're going through like a dark night of the soul after you've like awakened to a certain degree which was what mine was on top of that i was like why the fuck first i'm i'm depressed for fucking five six eight years and then now i'm awake and i'm like oh no more pain or suffering or whatever the fuck right and I'm like oh no here's your fucking dark night of the soul spiritual depression right it's, it's pretty much the same. A little different, but it's pretty much the same. But you can use that time. If you have a lot of time, use that time to try new things. Explore internally and externally. I fucking love nature, so explore it. And keep your mind at peace, all right? So if you like the video, you want to give it a thumbs up? 
give a thumbs up. You know, I'm sending you thumbs up. I'm th- sending you love, good energy, peace, love, and happiness. Okay. If you want to comment down below or even message me if you can on YouTube, you know, something that has helped you with your mental health or get that body, mind, soul connection and balance and alignment, as well as if you're going through shit, I'm here. You want to talk? I'm here to listen. Okay. As long as you listen back. I, you feel me? It's that, that it's they know one way. It's a two way. Okay. Whatever I can do to help, you know, um, and if you want to subscribe, <laughs> click, click. Remember, you got to hang out with your buddies. Okay. Or Buddha, buddy, Buddha. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for tuning into this video. It's greatly appreciated and, uh, keep going. Okay. You got this. If no, you don't think anybody believes in you. I believe in you. So message me. Okay. I'm Scott Vlad. I'm out of here. Peace.